All right, let's talk sugar. You've probably heard that sugar is sugar, right? Well, nope. That's like saying all cars are the same, just because they all have wheels. Today we're breaking down why high fructose corn syrup is not the same as regular cane sugar, and why your body does not handle them the same way. Let's start with table sugar, aka sucrose. It's made of two molecules called glucose and fructose that are linked together like a little molecular handshake. That means when you eat it, your body has to break that molecular bond before absorbing it. But high fructose corn syrup? Nah, no handshake here. Unlike table sugar, the glucose and fructose molecules in high fructose corn syrup are just free floating around like a chaotic sugar soup. This means your body absorbs the sugars in high fructose corn syrup way faster than table sugar. Think of table sugar like a two-piece puzzle made up of glucose and fructose locked together, and your body has to take a moment to separate them before using them. But high fructose corn syrup? That's like dumping a box of loose puzzle pieces on the floor. Nothing is connected so your body just grabs and absorbs everything way too quickly. Okay, so why does that matter? Well, when fructose and glucose flood your bloodstream super fast, your liver gets hit hard. This can lead to fat buildup in the liver, aka fatty liver disease which is linked to insulin resistance, obesity, and even type 2 diabetes. This can even make you feel tired, sluggish, and unmotivated, even if you're getting enough sleep. Additionally, if that weren't enough, studies show excess sugar, especially from high fructose corn syrup, can trigger breakouts by increasing inflammation and insulin spikes. If you're struggling with acne, cutting out high fructose corn syrup could help clear your skin. But, if that weren't bad enough, high fructose corn syrup can mess with your metabolism and hunger hormones, making it easier to overeat and gain fat, especially around your belly. And also, similar to table sugar, high fructose corn syrup may rewire your brain to crave more processed junk food, making it harder to eat healthy, and stay fit without even realizing it. But high fructose corn syrup doesn't just mess with your metabolism. It can speed up aging from the inside out. This is because high fructose corn syrup is absorbed more quickly than table sugar, and thus it causes a glucose spike, or in other words, your body having to process too much sugar too quickly. This glucose spike leads to stress on your body, which triggers free radical damage and inflammation, which breaks down collagen, the protein that keeps your skin firm and youthful. Over time, this can lead to wrinkles, sagging skin, and premature aging. But it's not just about looks. Free radicals also contribute to brain fog, fatigue, and slower recovery from exercise or injuries. So cutting back on high fructose corn syrup isn't just good for your waistline, it's a major anti-aging hack. And besides, if you feel like your body is inflamed all the time and just want to cut back on inflammation overall, then ditching high fructose corn syrup is certainly a good start. After all, inflammation is a driving factor in a lot of diseases ranging from cancer to autoimmune disorders. And guess where high fructose corn syrup is hiding? Sodas, processed snacks, fast food, basically all the stuff that's making people sick. And remember, high fructose corn syrup is like a soup of fructose and glucose molecules just floating around, so it all gets absorbed by your body far too quickly. Let's put this in snack terms. Table sugar is like eating peanuts from the shell. Your body has to crack them open, which slows down the rate at which your body devours them. But high fructose corn syrup? It's like a bowl of already shelled peanuts, nothing to slow your body down. You just keep munching until it's too late. And that is exactly what happens to your body with high fructose corn syrup. So yeah, all sugar is not the same. And even though high fructose corn syrup is worse than table sugar, eating table sugar is only recommended in small quantities. Instead, stick to natural sugars from Whole Foods and avoid high fructose corn syrup whenever you can and give your liver a break. And this isn't to say that cane sugar is healthy by any stretch of the imagination. And again, cane sugar is also very bad for your health, it's just that high fructose corn syrup is even worse. Hit that like button if you learned something new, and subscribe for more food science breakdowns. See you next time!